to this special edition by Union Solidarity International. I'm being joined by a number of comrades from Germany today in a, a very important dialogue conversation between trade unionists. First of all, I want to introduce Christian Illitz of Pro-G, a supportive union of USI and also a very good comrade of mine before we ask our sister Nikita to say a little about why she is there in Germany. Christian Conrad, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Very well. Please tell us what the purpose of the meeting in Germany is all about, my friend. Um, it's about to create a network uh, between the youth representatives of uh, Opel and Foxhole and to try to compare the different systems of uh, education uh, in, the diff in these four countries, uh, Austria, um, Germany, Spain and uh, UK, and try to get a better ed um, education on the factory sides of uh, these plants from Opel Vauxhall. That's fantastic, and it's so pleasing to hear. And am I correct in saying, Christian, that this is a collection of young trade unionists in particular? And from how many countries and how many individuals are there? Uh, we are uh, 26 people from these four countries. Also, again, Austria, Germany, uh, UK, and Spain. Excellent. Nikita, if I can just pass over to you and if you can just say a little bit about yourself, where you're working and what you do, what you do in your plant and also just to talk about a number of the activities that you've been doing over the last several days. Uh -huh. So I'm Nikita, I'm 19 and I'm currently an apprentice, I'm in my third year and I work at the uh, Luton plant uh, building Vivaro's. I'm um, training to become an electrical engineer, um, so after I finish my apprenticeship, if I get a job, I would like to go to university, work part-time and also study. Excellent. Thanks for those introductory comments, Nikita, and it's fantastic to see young women involved in the automobile and manufacturing sector. It's something we need a lot more of, so kudos to yourself. Can I ask, what sort of activities have, we, have you been doing over the last several days and indeed have you learned things from our brothers and sisters across Europe that is maybe slightly different from what is done in the UK? Oh, definitely, yeah. We've, um, I've learned quite a lot actually because um, I've really understood like what the young people actually do in their uh, company. Whereas in the UK, if we've got a problem, uh, we find someone else to resolve it. But now I know who to go to, what is the procedure going, and if I can resolve the issue myself. And when does the the visit and the workshop stop, Nikita, and when you're back on the tools? Um, Tuesday. Well, I fly back on Sunday, and I won't go to work till Tuesday. <laughs> the trade union managed to get me the Monday off. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, fantastic for the trade unions. That's one of the many benefits we, we get is the opportunity to have young trade unionists working in the same sector, exchanging ideas and information. It's so important to how we represent people on the shop floor. So, Nikita and Christian, thank you for your comments on this conversation with USI. My name is Lorena. I'm 21 years old and I work on Russell Sign Plant. I'm administrative and um, I work in empire sales from Opel. We are here from many different countries, many different languages, so we did a little um, 
language workshop. Then we make other workshops where we talked about precarious work and youth unemployment. Um, I think these are the two main points. Um, we also presented each other the um, work, working and living conditions from um, whole, from all from all countries that we can know what is uh, different in the other plants. Um, also, we are the same company, a global company. There are so much differences um, that we really notice that we have to do something for be. Um,